Mark Regev is a senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. We spoke to him uh, just before we came on the air. And I asked him if the raid on Al Shifa Hospital had now concluded. My understanding is the operation is still ongoing. Right, so they're still inside the hospital. That is what I have been told. But once again, I haven't received a minute-by-minute play. And so maybe my information is out of date. But as far as I have been told, the operation is ongoing. And what exactly did those troops find inside the hospital? Well, they went in to look for Hamas military uh, infrastructure, to look for weapons and other uh, uh, devices that were part of the Hamas military machine. And what did they find? They found those, but we'll be making the details, uh, I think, public in a few hours. The op- if the operation is still ongoing, obviously, we can't talk about what was achieved just yet. The military, the IDF, seems to have released a, a video in the past uh, sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. And it, and it seems to show, and we obviously can't verify, but it seems to show guns, ammunition, grenades and flak jackets found at the hospital. I mean, does that count as a, a, a command centre, do you think? I think this would only show initial findings. Once again, we have no doubt whatsoever that Hamas has been using the hospital uh, uh, as a military, as a humanitarian, as a human shield for its military machine. Uh, It's not just the Israeli government says so. The U.S. government has corroborated that, that they also have intelligence. And the truth is, I think if it's a secret, it's a very badly kept secret because most of the people in, in Gaza City also know that Hamas has its military headquarters underneath the hospital. Really? And yet people in the hospital keep telling us that they have not seen anything that would suggest that there's a command centre under, underneath. James, you've worked in authoritarian countries before. You know that it's unacceptable in an authoritarian regime to speak out against the party line. What do you expect the people of Gaza to say when they live under a Hamas regime? Will you be releasing evidence then today that will show this command centre? I mean, command centre suggests something big, something important, something crucial for Hamas. And so far, what seems to have emerged doesn't suggest that. But are you saying that there will be evidence presented soon that will show that? I I can't guarantee when, but I'm 100% sure that Hamas has a very, very uh, comprehensive military machine under the Shifa Hospital, that includes its most important command and control centre. And you can understand why it's important for Israel to do that, because the, you know, the bar uh, for military activity in and around a hospital is, is set very high. And if Israel doesn't present that, then it's going to make it difficult to justify what happened today, isn't it? Precisely for that reason. Uh, we don't enter a hospital lightly. There has to be a serious reason for us to do so. But the fact that Hamas has used the hospital as a shield for its military machine, I don't think anyone serious doubts that today. The head of the WHO today said that just the fact that Israeli troops went into that hospital was totally unacceptable, were his words. Uh, Does he have a point? Not at all. If you read international humanitarian law, you will know it is forbidden to use a, a hospital as a shield for your military. That is clear. That's in the uh, first appendix to the uh, Geneva Convention, which is accepted as international law. Hamas has committed a war crime by turning the hospital into a war zone. Israel's actions are a response to that. I mean, international law is also clear that there has to be an active threat, in this case, to Israeli troops from that hospital. Uh, Was there an active threat? International law does not say that. International law says specifically that the minute your enemy uses a humanitarian site like a hospital for its military machine, then you can target that site. It doesn't mean you do so lightly. It doesn't mean you do so irresponsibly. But it loses under international uh, law. It loses its immunity. Well, we just spoke to a professor of international law who, who, who said that there has to be an active threat, but also that that doesn't mean that there can be a risk to those people being treated inside and indeed the staff treating them. Were precautions taken to avoid any threat to those patients? Of course, countless precautions were taken. And it's my understanding that there actually there was no combat inside the hospital once our forces entered. There were no firefights and we're happy about that. We don't want to see harm 
come to the patients or to the medical staff of the hospital. Our target is not the civilians of Gaza. The, our target is the Hamas terrorists who are responsible for the most horrendous and barbaric violence by turning a hospital into a war zone. Mark Regev, Senior Advisor to Israel's Prime Minister. You're listening to News Hour.